This is a video to show some ideas on how to effectively use the search analytics report in Google Search Console. So to start out with, we're going to go search console, search traffic, search analytics. And within the site, I'm actually going to start with a page. So when you're in the main screen, you just click over to pages and then select the one that you want to look at to try to diagnose, say, um, if it's a page that you want to target on improving traffic to or if you want to diagnose a fall uh, this is where you go, where you're going to start so keep in mind that once you group your data by page all this data that you see is going to be related to this page and you can change the filters in regards to this page so one of the first ones that I want to look at is I want to figure out what keywords are driving traffic to this page so now that this page is selected, click over to queries. And I can take these queries and I can see, okay, these are the top terms that are driving clicks to this page. This is the number of times that this page has ranked or been seen by a searcher when they type in this query. So people who search for iTunes BPM, they've seen it 294 times, they've clicked 20 times and so this kind of gives me an idea of what Google sees this page as relevant for there's a couple things that you can do with this so if you're looking for ways to improve this page you can go over here and sort by impressions and you can look to see what pages is it getting impressions for so Google is showing it as relevant but it's not getting any clicks for all right, and so here's a query. So BPM counter. So this is beats per minute counter. Or, uh, you know, this is going to be a basically a tool that you can analyze a song with, find out how many beats per minute it is, and then use that for, um, in this case, the post is about running. And then here's another one, BPM playlist. It gets a good many impressions, but it's not getting any clicks. And so what this is telling me is that even though this page is ranking as relevant, it's not exactly what people are looking for when they're wanting this or this piece of content doesn't include a playlist or a counter so I could take that idea and either add it to the post you know add like a little tool add some playlist suggestions or I could go and create new posts that specifically target BPM counters because I know that there's pretty good search volume that it's showing up but there's not really anything out there I can also do things like if I want to diagnose a rise or a fall, I can add position. This will show the average position of all the queries on this post. Um, it's pretty unchanged over the past few months, but you can also go and look for queries that are within striking distance. Um, and when I say striking distance, I mean it's ranking just outside of the top 10. So when I'm scrolling through, I'm looking for ones that are 18, 16, 11. And these are things where I might could just add a new section or revise a current section to target that keyword. Uh, and then the same thing for, you can click over to CTR, which is click through rate, and you can adjust, sort it by click through rate and see which ones you're getting impressions for, you might even be getting clicks for, but you're not getting anyone clicking through. And with that, you might be able to edit your title or edit your meta description to increase that. So there's a lot of things that you can do with queries. Um, it's just a matter of deciding what exactly you're looking for, but that's not all. You can also go and filter by countries to see if you're getting the right traffic from the right countries that this you know, content is targeted for. Um, this content, specifically mentions Spotify a good many times. Spotify might not be available in some countries. It might be available in some others. Um, it might be, since it's in English language, I would expect, you know, English language countries to all be showing up, which they do. Um, if you don't, then there might be some reason why it's not ranking in UK, Canada, or Australia. That might be something you could go and look into. And the other thing is that you can filter by a device and you can find out if this is something that people search for on their mobile on their tablet or on a desktop and you can customize revise content to meet that need and don't forget that you can also do CTR and position based on device so in this case 
it's ranking particularly well on mobile and tablet. That might be because this page is responsive. It does really well um, when you load it up on a phone. And so this page might be benefiting from the boost that Google says that it gives to mobile friendly pages in the SERPs. Um, but again, you can also add CTR and see if it has the same. So for some reason, the CTR on this page is much, much more higher on tablet. So if you're going to try to figure out ideas on how to fix this piece of content, diagnose a drop, try to figure out how to make an increase, how to make other pieces of content on your website that may perform better or worse, you can do that. And don't forget, you can always compare by dates to try to give you a better perspective. So that's a few quick ideas on how to use search analytics. The basic rule of thumb is to remember that you can always click further down and you can always apply more filters to different ways of grouping it so that you can find exactly what you're looking for um, so that you can actually make change on, changes on your website that are going to make a difference in search.